What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today an exciting video. This is a viewer request video. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video on everything you need to know about the Samsung keyboard on the Galaxy S22 Ultra, and a lot of people were asking if I could make the same video for the Google keyboard, also known as Gboard. So I did just that. Today we're gonna to talk about seven things you need to know about the Google keyboard and uh, how to get it on your S22 Ultra, how to use it, some of the cool stuff you can do with it. So first of all, it is not installed on your device by default, so you'll need to go over to the Play Store and search for it. You can just type in Gboard and you'll find it right there. Gboard, the Google keyboard. You can see I have it installed and uh, it'll pop up in your language and settings and everything like that. You can go into the settings menu once you install it, go down to general management where you'll see the different keyboards and you can enable it as your default keyboard. So if you go to keyboard list and default, you can see I changed my default keyboard to Gboard right there. Of course, the Samsung keyboard is the default out of the box. So let's talk about the things you need to know. You can do some cool stuff with the uh, Gboard as well, just like you can with Samsung. Uh, the first thing is the spacebar navigation does indeed work, just like it does on the Samsung keyboard. Um, there's a couple of limitations, but it's mostly the same kind of text input that you would expect. So I'll go into Twitter really quick and show you guys how it works. So let's just type here, this is a tweet. And then you can see that if you hold down the spacebar here, you can swipe on the spacebar, not hold down, just swipe left to right. You can find location in your text, just like we did on the Samsung keyboard. I find this incredibly useful for editing things, you know, obviously when you're typing and you make a mistake, you wanna go back, just delete something, it's really easy to swipe. Now the one thing that doesn't work like it does on the Samsung one is you can't like hold it down to delete, um, to actually select and delete text, but there is another way to delete things quickly on Gboard, which I'll show you guys in a second. So all hope is not lost. Uh, the next thing is the glide delete. Actually, I said I was gonna show you and that's the next thing on my list. So if we go back to this tweet again, and you wanna delete something very quickly, what you can do is you can just tap and then swipe left on the delete key. So there's the backspace key right there, just tap and swipe left. And uh, if you have a full set of words there, this is a tweet, over here, what you do when you swipe, it'll actually start highlighting some of the text. So you see how it highlights the word tweet, highlight the letter A, is, you can just go as far back as you want and release and it automatically deletes it. I find this very simple when typing. One of the other things I love about Gboard is it definitely has most accurate language prediction, like in terms of words and correction. Samsung is a little bit behind in that in that facet. That's why sometimes I prefer Gboard for faster typing. Samsung has kind of bad word recognition sometimes, so it does make it a little faster. The next thing is the personal dictionary, and this is an absolute awesome feature, which a lot of key, some keyboards have, but I think Google does this better than anyone else. If you go into the Gboard settings, which you can either go in through the settings there, or you can just actually tap the app icon. So if you go into your app drawer, you can type it and get in right here. Go down to dictionary, go to personal dictionary, uh, English, of course, which is the language I'm using on my keyboard. And what you can do is you can type in words or phrases and then give a shortcut to those words or phrases so that when you type that shortcut, it's automatically suggested on your keyboard. So what I've done here is, uh, this is the university uh, address here and uh, I just put a shortcut to the, the university address there. This is a public address, so <laughs> no big deal. I put this here, so when I wanna type it on my keyboard, all I have to do is type the shortcut, and that'll automatically add it there for me. Now you can, of course, add lots more up here, type the word or phrase and the shortcut, and that makes it really easy, so now when you're on your keyboard here, you can just go and I type the shortcut. It automatically shows in the middle there the suggestion and I just tap that and it adds the address. I find this super useful for things like addresses that you use often or phone numbers you use often or phrases you use often in your speech. You add them on there uh, and then you're set to go. So let me add this back here so it doesn't delete my draft. Uh, the next thing is themes. And I talked about themes with the Samsung keyboard quite a bit. Google has a really cool feature with Gboard where you can actually create themes that match your wallpaper. I'm using the Starfire wallpaper pack here from my friend Canoopsy, which I'll link below if you guys are interested. But the way you do this in Gboard is you just go to the themes portion of Gboard. And then if you go up here where it says my themes, I actually need to change this because I had my old wallpaper set as my theme. You can press the plus button and use any picture that you have. So here's my wallpaper from Canoopsy, the Starfire wallpaper. You can select a portion of the wallpaper, tap next, 
And then you can also adjust the brightness up here as much as you want. Tap done. And then you can see you can either have the keyboarders or not here and then apply. So now when I go in, that's now my keyboard. And now my keyboard matches my wallpaper. I think that's one of the coolest theming features that there is out there. Samsung has some cool effects and stuff, but being able to match your wallpaper and your keyboard background, very, very cool. And it's very simple to do in Gboard. The next thing is one-handed mode or floating keyboard mode. These are great because, you know, the Ultra is a big phone. We talked about this with the Samsung keyboard. You might want to enable one-handed or floating mode to make this a little bit easier on you. It's very simple to do in Gboard up here where you have this arrow, you can arrow over. And then right here with the three dots menu, you can customize these by the way. Um, but in the three dots menu, you've got one-handed mode and floating as the options here. This is also a place where you can find text editing uh, beyond just the spacebar editing. So this actually makes it a little easier to go through and edit your text if you're interested in that. But one-handed mode makes the keyboard smaller, just pops it into one of the corners. You can also switch which corner it's in, then you can make it bigger. And then if you go into the settings, and of course you wanna do the floating mode, Floating just gives you a little floating keyboard which you can position around on your screen where you want. Now I find the floating keyboard especially useful when I'm using this. And also if you wanna change it, you can just go back in here, turn the floating mode off. I like the floating mode a lot on my tablets like my Tab S8 Ultra because I don't want the keyboard to span the entire width of the tablet because it's absolutely huge. But both of those are very useful on larger phones like the Galaxy S22 Ultra as well. Now of course, I have to mention something for the S Pen, because Samsung, of course, has S Pen features on their keyboard. And of course, you might want to use your S Pen with Gboard as well. And there is a handwriting mode in Gboard. So let's actually show how to do this. If you go back into the Gboard settings, you can actually quickly change this to handwriting mode. And the way you do is go into Gboard, Languages, and then tap right here where it says English QWERTY Keyboard. You can actually add the handwriting keyboard here as well. And this will allow you to use your S Pen to actually write, and then that'll translate it to text. Now, the way you actually change between those is when you're in Gboard, you go ahead and hold down the space bar like this, and you can change it to your handwriting mode. And then that'll allow you to write text right here using your S Pen. So this is, it keeps scrolling to the right, a text. So that's very cool. You can use your S Pen if you like. A lot of people prefer handwritten input, and it's something that you can do with Gboard as well. So I know that's something that people will find very interesting in terms of the S22 Ultra. My final tip for Gboard is the Emoji Kitchen. And this is something that you're gonna have a lot of fun with if you're a fan of emoji. I'm not someone who, I'm getting older, so I don't use it as much. But if you like emoji, you're gonna enjoy this quite a bit. Uh, what you can do is if you put two emoji together, let's say here, let me change back to the default keyboard. If you have two emoji, let's say you wanna put those emoji together. I'm gonna to choose a couple here. I'm gonna choose a party hat and uh, art eyes. It will put those two emoji together right here and combine them into a single one with heart eyes and a party hat at the same time. And then you can add that to your text message, in this case, to the tweet. So this is a really cool feature. It's called Emoji Kitchen. It's something Google's been working on for a while. It doesn't work with every single emoji but it's a really unique feature and when it does work, it can give you some really cool emoji that you'll enjoy sharing with your friends. All right guys, so those are the seven features of Gboard. There's a lot more, so if you guys want me to do a full tutorial on Gboard, I just thought these would be the ones that people maybe didn't know about, they would find interesting. Let me know in the comments section below. Again, we do have our giveaway going on until the end of March, it's a couple days left only. I'll drop the link below if you guys are interested in joining that. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.